what are your salary expectations? In this video, I'm going to share with you three ways to answer this question. One thing to note is that I'm going to be sharing with you how to answer this question when you're in the beginning stages of the interview process, not towards the end when you're about to receive an offer. It's very important to note that. All right, three ways to answer the question on salary expectations. First of all, give nothing. I mean, nothing. Nada. Zip. But do it nicely. So you can say something like, at this stage of the process, I'm still trying to get a good sense of what the role entails. But I will be more than happy to share my salary expectations with you once I get more clarity. But can I ask what the budget is for this role? Or you can try this. I know that salary is very important, but it's one of the many things that I'll be considering for this role. Having said that, I'm fine with something that's competitive and in line with my skills and experience. What if you have one of these recruiters? Great speech. Truly marvelous. I need a real answer. Okay, if you insist. Then this leads me to the second way of answering this question, which is to give a range. Some people say 10K, I usually do 20K and that's usually fine. But just make sure you do your research. And keep in mind that the more your range, the more you're not saying anything. And the third way is to give a number. Now, I've seen this work for someone who has a highly specialized skill set, is already well compensated, and is in demand. And he was like, this is how much I make? Surprise me. But I wouldn't recommend this way if you don't fall into the category that I just described. To recap, the three ways to answer this question is number one, to give nothing. Number two, to give a range. And lastly, to give a number. Now, I recommend the first one, which is to give nothing. But sometimes you can't always do that. I hope this was useful. Until next time, see you.